Hello, this is Greg Brzezinski for Beard Brand Alliance. I stand before you wearing what I consider my optimal beard length. Not too short, not too long. It's kind of like Goldilocks. It's just right. How did I arrive at this decision? And how am I going to maintain it? Stay tuned. We're going to talk about both of those things. And how I maintain this beard might seem a little unorthodox. <music> I've worn my beard really short. I have worn it really long to the point where 10 or 11 months my beard has gotten. And I have often come back to this length beard. And I have been sporting this length beard probably for the past three or four months. And I have been maintaining the length on this beard. So this is what I consider my optimal beard length. This also includes not only my beard, but my mustache. How did I uh, arrive at this decision? Um, two weeks ago, I actually, it was right after a fresh trim that I gave myself, I had a photo shoot. And in that photo shoot, I did, I think, a, a half a dozen different looks. And I was very sporty casual. I was Friday casual. I was suited and tied. And I realized that my beard worked well with each of those scenarios. So. Um, some beards, I think, look better in a more casual situation. Some beards look better in a dressy situation. And when I, when I saw the photographs, I said, hey, your beard is working whether you're dressed down or you're dressed up. And frankly, I think it flatters my face the most. So that's how I arrived at the decision. And I'm standing by it. So I've decided, you know, that this is my ultimate beard length and I want to maintain it. So I'm not going to let it grow a whole month and then think, wow, where did my beard length go that I liked so much? So I'm just gonna keep maintaining it uh, at that length. So this is my recommendation for guys. Go ahead and trim your beard once a week and go ahead and do all this facial grooming and at the least twice a month. What this will enable you to do is actually take off small amounts on your beard, do maintenance grooming that's not gonna change the shape drastically and will allow you to uh, maintain a beard that you really like. You might also do this after you go to a barber that you have your beard looking absolutely perfect. And then what a lot of guys will do is just let that beard grow. And then all of a sudden, six weeks later, eight weeks later, the beards are out of control. By just taking five or 10 minutes once a week, they could have maintained the shape of their beard that would allow them to get through a period that would um, really just help their beard look best during that period of time before they went back to the barber. So what do I do? Here are the things that I'm using weekly on my beard. You can see that I'm using a Beard Brand comb, the Beard Brand small brush, which I love, a pair of scissors, a chevette, Beard Brand soap for lathering, and the styling balm for styling. To start with, you have to understand how fast your beard is growing. On average, half an inch a month for most guys, my beard probably is growing a little faster at five eighths of an inch a month, um, maybe even a little more at times. And uh, so what I wanna do is divide that by four. And so we're taking off an eighth of an inch at most a quarter of an inch. And so um, you're thinking, well, what's the whole point of that? The whole point of that is not letting the beard get out of control and not losing the current shape that you have. And this really comes in handy too, because I've been trying to maintain my mustache a little shorter and that needs weekly care. Also, when I do a weekly routine, I am tuned in to trimming my nose hairs as well as lining my cheeks. So let me show you what I do. So I'm gonna pull out all the hairs on my beard, taking inventory of, to see if there's anything that's crazy out of control in terms of growth. And what I'm going to do is start at the very front. And I'm just taking off eighth of an inch. You can see some of these hairs are growing a little faster. And then I'm going to take this line and move it around to the side. Cutting through the front. And then cutting, cutting through the back. Constantly combing it down to make sure that there's no 
stray hairs. Now those stray hairs might have been left over from even the last time I cut my beard. So you're probably thinking, you didn't take anything off. And that's the whole point. I've taken off the equivalent of a week's worth of growth. And that's it. So whether you do this once a week or every two weeks, it's just taking off those little bits that are gonna help you maintain the current shape that you have in your beard. And like I said before, one of the main reasons I'm doing that, this is for my mustache. So the uh, two thirds, one third rule, I am pulling down the middle, recombing, 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 more or less following the natural lip line. And then when I smile, you can see how straight that is going across. Now these hairs in here, taking a smidge off of those as well. One thing I noticed about my beard is that my hair grows in this pattern. <laughs> you can see my ear hair um, pretty much grows along my ear and a lot of guys' beards grow straight down, say like this. My hair grows in this curved pattern. So this is beard hair under way under the middle of my neck. It actually is pretty hard to cut. So I'm actually going to leave it. <laughs> While I'm looking at the side elevation here, I'm going to side elevation. I must be an architect. I'm actually going to take a look at it and make sure it's nice and even. And you can see it's pretty even. So this is what I like in my beard shape. Um, it's very um, strong, square, slightly rounded corners on the side here. And um, I just love uh, the profile that my beard has at this shape. Um, it gives me a very firm looking jaw. But in reality, my beard hair is growing the whole way down to here on here. And my jawline is actually there. So it's actually the relative distance from the bottom of my jaw is pretty much even across the way. What I might do is just come in, just comb the beard out. So instead of like hedge trimming your beard, if you pull it out, curly beards too. What this does is soften the edge, the line, so it's not just one blunt length. There's some layering in the front. Um, some guys achieve this with doing a clipper cut. This way, by doing it with a scissor, this is how your head hair would be cut. Your hair is pulled out perpendicular to your chin, to your head, and cut off that way. It is the same technique that I use on my beard that barbers would use on my hair. We're gonna go in really close. I don't like to cut up too far into my nose. Your nose hairs are there for a reason. They are to control dust going into your nose as well as um, uh, preventing things from sliding out of your nose, like mucus. So I tend to only cut the hairs right at the tip, right when you show. And because my hairs are white in a black hole, you can really see them. So all the more important that I do them weekly. So what else do I do? I'm gonna actually line my cheeks. And this is something new for me. I um, had always used uh, a trimmer or I had always used a disposable razor and uh, I've watched my son, Victor, um, new dogs teaching old dogs new uh, tricks, um, using a shavette or the equivalent of a straight razor. So what I'm gonna do, this has a disposable blade in it, which is one half of a safety razor. And what I'm gonna do is line my cheeks with this. What I use for lather, I'll take a utility bar and I take a lather brush. You can also use a small um, cosmetic pad or you can use a um, washcloth um, just to get some lather. We're not talking a lot here and we're not looking for super wet. I'm looking for just some lubricant on my cheek so the razor doesn't pull. You all know I don't have a lot of hair on my neck so I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to take the shavette. So on, on big areas I'm taking the whole blade more or less. And as it goes up the curb, I start using more of the tip. And you can actually see that on this, there's more hair on that. 
I'm not going to go down to the point where I have such a stark line. As the summer is approaching, I have this tan, and um, you can actually see that I have pretty much a very deliberate line already, even while keeping this hair. This could go down like a quarter of an inch more. Now, I also have hair, hard to see, um, but up on my cheeks. Wet that up again. This is my uneven side. Um, I have a thin spot in my beard right here. So what I do is I take a little more hair here and a little more hair down below. So it didn't take any from this spot right here, took it from here into here. So every beard is different. Every cheek line is different. A uh, very characteristic cheek line for a lot of guys is to have hair that might ride up here. A lot of guys have very hairy patches here. Um, mine, if you could actually saw that, was actually not hairy here. Mine tends to be here, down below, and then on the sideburns. So every man's face is different. Every hair pattern is different. Not all guys' beards. I, mine comes up a medium amount. Uh, my son's comes up really high. Some guys' beards come pretty low. And so um, analyze your own face, see what you got, and strike that line where it makes your beard look stronger. Having a strong uh, lined cheek uh, will make this hair look thicker. By the contrast of the skin to the hair, that line is very pronounced and will make the beard look stronger. Um, you don't have to go down, as I said. You might be just taking a quarter of an inch or a half an inch of the hair up on the cheeks off, but that way um, you can still have what appears to be a somewhat natural cheek line. The problem with having very severe or coming down really far into the growth pattern of the beard is that hair is growing fast and in very short order that hair is going to grow back and you might have to shave your cheeks two, three times a week. Um, because of my hair color and my skin color being relatively pale, you don't notice them as much and um, so I tend to do it once a week. I often finish taking a little styling balm. So that's it, Greg Brzezinski's Optimal Beard Shape Up um, by using uh, minimal techniques once a week in my case. A little trim off the bottom, getting my nose hairs, cutting my mustache, lining my cheeks. This should not take you more, when you really are doing it quickly, five to 10 minutes at the most once a week. If you're lining your cheeks more often because you have dark hair or you have a lot of hair on your cheeks, of course, throw that into the routine, but you might not have to trim your beard every, every time you line your cheeks. But this assures that my optimal beard length will stay that way, optimal, until I decide that I want to change up the length, let it grow, or even like change the angle of my beard. Uh, back uh, in the fall, I actually angled up my cheeks fairly high. And then um, I think in November, I lined my cheeks down really low, not doing that again. Um, didn't like the look and so like I've been letting my cheek hair grow back in. So what is your optimal length? How can you maintain it? Do you maintain your optimal length by doing grooming once a week? Comment below and tell us. Curious to see if it's once a week, twice a month, once a month, or you wait for the barber to do it whenever you get there. Until we meet again. Hey, I'm Mark. I think that Beard Brand Products and the Beard Brand Mission They've really helped me kind of wear my beard and present it to the world in a way that, honestly, for the first time in my life, like, kind of makes me feel kind of handsome. You know, sometimes. But, anyway, thanks guys.